run. Just run. Welcome to The Ad Show. Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to another video. So this is the whole video from the vlog yesterday where we went to two different towns, Northwich and Stockton Heath. And as you will have seen, I vlogged the day. My auntie came with us as well. I did get a bit of footage with her, but only very little, but it was also in a cafe. And I don't know, well, one of the bits of footage was in a cafe and I don't know how well that's coming out. So uh, yeah, that, I might include that in the vlog, I might not. Um, but it was nice to at least go with her and possibly include a little bit of footage of her in the vlog. Um, so yeah, I got five items today, uh, sorry, yesterday, not today. I'm so used to doing haul videos on the same day as the, the actual going out that I always say today. But I got five items yesterday and uh, essentially, you know, here they are, I'll show you them and I won't waste any more time sort of uh, randomly riveting on about random stuff basically. So yeah, let's get on with the haul video and let me share with you what I picked up. So I got this jug, now it's the same design as the, what was it called, the wine cooler that I picked up that definitely isn't worth £800 by the way, but it is still worth some money. So I picked this up uh, and this is why I paid a fiver for it because I think I can still get about 30 quid for this. Now with the new knowledge I possess from doing a bit of research on that other item and from you know people in the comments saying uh, about what it is and all the rest of it, you know obviously I've determined it's definitely not worth 800 quid but it is worth some, still some money and since this is the same maker, same design, I still think I can get some money out of this. Possibly only about 20 or 30 quid as I mentioned but from a fiver I still I'll take it. I thought it was a nice little item to pick up, and uh, you know, since it was kind of interrelating to one of the other items I picked up recently, I thought I couldn't really leave it there. It's, it's just interesting. So yeah, fiver for that anyway. Probably won't get tons for it, but still, it, it's going to get me something back anyway. Next is this reticulated design plate from Portugal. I've had these in various different variants, various different variants, many different variants. <laughs> for uh, quite a while. I've had blue ones, I've had ones from Portugal, one from Spain, multicoloured ones, and yeah, they're really, really nice for these reticulated plates. Um, I think I've got, maybe I've got in the past 20 quid for a bigger one like this one, so I might go for 20 quid. If I can't get 20 quid for it though, I'll come down to 15 quid. I paid two pound there in a uh, Save the Children, so a nice little margin in that if I can get 20 quid for it. Um, I suppose you have got to be a bit careful. I've never thought about this too much. I mean, when I've been packaging them, I suppose I have a little bit, but I suppose you have got to be careful with these particular pet plates because I guess that they're a little bit more um, easily breakable on the side here on this rim. Yeah, I suppose you've got to be careful with that, but plenty of bubble wrap around it and stuff, and well packaged, and it should be fine. I have packaged quite a few of these before, so yeah, £2 for that one anyway, nice little item there. So, next, I think it's from Age UK, yeah it was, I'll turn it around for you. Can you see that? Age UK on the back, 4 99 I paid for this one, and it's a nice little watercolour, uh, you can see it there. Uh, we've got, like, ships and stuff in sort of... It's almost like a, I mean, it's in the sea, but it's almost like the sea's come in or something. I'm not too sure. It may be on some sort of harbour, possibly. And it's by, is that Margaret Whitfield? I think it says Margaret Whitfield on there. Don't know how well you're going to see it. Margaret Whitfield, I think it is. Um, it's in this frame, nice little white frame. You see these white frames quite often. But there's a little bit of damage to the frame somewhere. I can't pinpoint where the damage is now. Is it up there, possibly? I think it might be up there. I can't. I can't see. There is some, oh yeah, it looks like it's there. Yeah, it might be some damage to the frame there. But still, I was going to pick this up. I think I'm going to go maybe twenty four ninety nine on this one here. Plus my postage, of course. I might be tempted to go twenty nine ninety nine, But to be honest, twenty four ninety nine, twenty nine ninety nine. I should be able to get that pretty easily for this painting. Nice looking little painting. Um, and yeah, someone will have that for a wall, no trouble. And it's not really, really big. I mean, you know, it's got a bit of size to it, but it's not too big. It's just on that kind of realm where between, you know, too big or just someone may maybe too small for someone on a wall as well. So it's a nice little painting for, I don't know, some sort of uh, to have in a living room or possibly to have uh, behind a sofa or in 
uh, a conservatory or something like that. For example, we've got a sofa downstairs. We've got a painting behind it. I'm thinking of something like that. Um, well, it's actually not the conservatory. It kind of is the conservatory, but it's not the actual conservatory. The conservatory is more of an extension onto the kitchen. So I suppose it's still part of the kitchen, but you know what I mean anyway. It's a nice little painting for somewhere. Uh, living room, part of a conservatory, a bedroom, wherever, it doesn't really matter. So, yeah, that's that one there anyway. So, next I got this, I almost want to describe it as sort of like a fisherman's hat. It's not a trilby really, is it? So it's just sort of like a fisherman's hat. Um, I always have to try them on, don't I? Um, and it's made of Harris tweed, so that's why I picked it up. Now, I would assume I'd get maybe 15 quid back for this, something like that. Possibly 20 quid. I paid... Probably more likely 15 quid, 2 I paid there, and uh, I don't know whether you're going to see this very well. I'll turn this inside out so you might be able to. It's by St. Michael, obviously Marks and Spencers that is, and it's a large as well, which is really, really good. So yeah, nice looking little item there, uh, 3 quid, hopefully into 15 quid. It should, shouldn't be any trouble getting 15 for it, whether I could get maybe 20 quid for it. Something like that on that one from three quid. I'm pretty happy with that. And then finally, we've got this mousetrap game, the blue and the red writing version. Don't know what this is. Maybe 90s, possibly. I think 90s, but I'm not 100% sure. Uh, now, I believe this used to go for more than it does now. I paid 350 for it in the hope that it would maybe be still around 20 quid. Because I'm pretty sure in the past it's been 20 to 25 pound. Uh, but unfortunately it has come down a little bit now. And the most I'll probably be looking to get for it is maybe about 16 quid maximum. Which is a shame because as I say I think it was worth a little bit more. Uh, but still I thought I would pick it up because this was... Uh, so you can see there, £3.50. Um, this was in Northwich and I hadn't picked anything up yet. And I was like, oh, there's Mousetrap, I'll pick it up. Because I don't really normally pick up board games, but I thought, since I've not got anything today so far, I just need to get on with it. I just need to get something to get me in the swing of things, really, like I would do with a car boot. So a good piece of advice at a car boot is maybe spend a quid on an item that might not be the best profit margin or anything, but it gets you in the swing of things. You, it gets you buying kind of thing. And it means that you can start to get in the flow of the car boot sale. It's, you know, I, I don't treat it exactly the same with charity shops. But sometimes, let's say, if I've not picked up any, anything and I've gone through about six shops or something, or maybe even more than that, I think I better pick something. I better try and find something. So that's kind of like this one. Ordinarily for 350 would I be tempted to pick it up? I, you know, I was thinking even in the shop then. I was like, hmm. But I thought, I've got to pick something up to to get get on with this and get going and I think it helped because it meant that I'd at least got an item and once you feel like you've got an item you feel some level of success there from your trip even if it is that you just end up getting that one item so you never know it might have been the key to me it being able to get a few items from Stockton Heath if I had walked away from Northwich with nothing I might not have got things in Stockton Heath because I might have been thinking oh I'm, uh, I'm not sure I'm not too in the mood all the rest of it so yeah I think that getting one item when you can um, at the start, if you can, is is a good idea, you know. But that's just my thinking on it. I know other people may have other kind of uh, logic to go by with uh, regards to car boots or charity shops. But yeah. So anyway, I'll leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for watching this whole video, and I will see you in the next segment. See you very soon, guys.